everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm glad for have an opportunity to present my clinical chair. Um, my chair uh, is about the comprehension of total splenic artery ablation and partial splenic ablation for half splenic gen. Half splenic gen is a complication of oh, thank you. Oh, partial uh, hypostone gen in sclerosis and uh, associate with central symbol uh, cytopenia and or uh, leticocytopenia. Partial splenic amortization is uh, considered first line therapy for hypostone gen, but its short term increase white blood cell and platinate count. And total splenic artery amortization is widely used for splenic artery annulations, and uh, our preliminary result demonstrates the safety and visibility. Our purpose is to uh, evaluate total splenic artery amortization, whether a li liver better run long-term clinic safety and efficacy, or uh, long-term impacts or on white blood cell and platelets, then partial splenic and embolization. Patient selection includes uh, glucian cirrhosis, clotic tear. Uh, all patients will document uh, hypersplenism, with uh, all patients will related uh, relative hepatitis B or C uh, caused in sources. Or patients with uh, neutropenia or and slumber cytopenia followed up more than two years. Uh, patients with, with uh, severe jaundice or spontaneous pastoral polyneuritis were excluded. Table one is a uh, uh, summarized uh, demography and uh, clinic clinicals. Uh, you have 61 patients who are in, not in clinical cell, in clinical chair. There are 27 percent of patients who are referred to group one, uh, group A, uh, with uh, treatment with uh, uh, total uh, splenic artery embolization. There are 34 patients referred to group B, uh, Treatment with 